Hey guys, Jason Creel and you're watching The Lawn Care Life. You know, I see stuff from time to time that, that gives me a, a thought that I want to communicate about the lawn care business. And it happened today in the form of illustration. I was watching somebody try to merge onto a not so busy interstate and having a lot of problems doing so. And that gave me an idea for this video about tips for you as you look to enter into a busy competitive market known as the lawn care business. Stay tuned. Hey, today's video is sponsored by Jobber. Jobber is a lawn care software that if you need a software to do your invoicing, your scheduling, to receive payments with a built-in credit card processor, check out Jobber. There'll be a link in the description. And I've also wanted to tell you that I am partnering with Jobber Academy. Jobber Academy is an extension of Jobber, the brand, where you can find resources like articles and videos. And I'm gonna be producing some exclusive videos for Jobber Academy coming up. So check out those links in the description. Okay, so today I'm, I'm driving on the interstate. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. So it's not, you know, not busy, you know, the, the, as far as traffic goes, not that busy. And I see somebody and they're trying to merge onto the interstate and they're going, I'm gonna guess five miles per hour with their blinker on and I'm thinking, what is going on with that car? I was on the interstate passing uh, where they were trying to merge on and, and they were not successfully merging on. And the car behind them is about to run over them, you know, and I look back in my rear view mirror and I see them and I believe they literally never were able to merge on, at least while I was able to watch. And they ended up in the emergency lane, still with their blinker on at a dead stop waiting for, I guess, for no traffic for a quarter of a mile to be feel safe enough to merge on. And that got my mind thinking. I said, you know what? I think that in a lot of ways is a good illustration of what it's like to enter into the lawn care business. Because some of you are gonna look out there and you're gonna say, you know what? Look at the lawn care industry. It's a crowded industry. Look how many guys are out there already mowing lawns, you know, in my area. I don't know how many there are and you just kind of get paralyzed and you move five miles an hour with your blinker on hoping that there's going to be some huge opening that just presents itself for you to jump in and i i just thought you know what that that that's not it that's not it at all and what what happened is the lady almost caused a wreck i mean the car behind her is about to run her over and she ends up stopped and so when it comes to your lawn care business if you're starting out and you look at the flow of traffic, meaning all the lawn care competitors that are out there and how busy and how fast they're going, how much business they have, and you think, wow, I wish I could just get into the flow of traffic here. I wish I could jump in on what they're doing. And yet, if you go five miles an hour with your blinker on, you're gonna end up pulled over on the side of the road, okay? So what I would encourage you to do is get on the gas, and merge over into the traffic and pretend like you belong. You know, even if it's your first year. So what do I mean by that? What do I mean pretend like you belong? I, mean, I don't like necessarily the phrase, fake it till you make it, but in some ways, what you wanna do is, is as quickly as possible, get your speed up to what everybody else is doing. So what does that mean? To me, a huge part of it is your business image, getting the, getting a logo, getting everything branded right to where you look like you belong, okay? And then, obviously, you know, the skills as far as mowing grass and all that, that comes pretty quickly. But what you don't want to do is to go up on a potential new customer's lawn and to say something like this. You say, you know, man, I, I just, this is my first year doing this. I only have a handful of customers and I just got this old push mower in the back of my truck. You know, I, I, I tell you, I'll cut your grass for $30. I just need to work so bad. If you'll just give me a chance, I promise I won't let you down. Well, you know what? You, you might get her. You might get that customer. I, I don't know. But the point is, you're, you're going, you're trying to merge into traffic at five miles an hour with your blinker on. The other people, the, the flow of the traffic is getting more customers. You're not going with the flow. What you want to do, even if it's your first year, I mean, my theory has always been make myself look like a big established company, even if it's my very first year. You know, I had a guy, he gave me that compliment recently. He said, usually I can get a feel for how big the company is by their website. You know, he was basically complimenting the way that everything about my business looked professional. He thought I was a lot bigger company than I really was. Well, I took that as a compliment. 
uh, and I want the customers, the potential customers, to not look at me and look at my business and say, oh, he, he probably doesn't know what he's doing, he's probably just getting started. Whether that's true or not, I want him to say, okay, established business, looks like he's a reputable company, I would definitely trust my lawn to that company. And I want that to happen on day one of my business existence. Now, it may not, you know, but I, I don't want to just go into it so slow and say, well, I'll, I'll build up to the speed of the flow later. I'll, I'll merge in when I get time, you know, maybe two, three years down the road. You know, why not jump out there and get going with the program now and present yourself in a way that's confident. So if I'm talking to that potential customer and I say, yes, man, I'd love to do your yard. You know, here, the price is gonna be this. And we'll be here every Thursday to mow the grass. If you need this service, this service, or this service done, we could also provide that for you. Uh, the billing is done this way. And if you have any trouble, please let me know. I'm, I'm the owner and I would be happy to address any concerns you might have. You know? And so you speak with that level of confidence that gives the customer, uh, they don't walk away with this buyer's remorse like, oh boy, I think I might have hired somebody that, that just started and I'm not sure what they're doing. You know, the worst feeling, if you go, I think, uh, when you go to the dentist, you know, and you get the dental hygienist, you think, oh no, this is her first day. You come out of there, your gums are all bleeding because she's poked you with a needle so many times. You, or you get the cashier at the fast food place, you say, oh, it's his first day. And he's sitting there staring at the computer screen. He cannot for the life of him figure out which button to push to take my order. You know, don't be that person in your lawn business, man. Figure out how to, you know, present yourself with some confidence, even if you're starting out. Without beating illustrations in the ground, I want to give you one more that I think Mike could really make this point. I want to present a business from another industry, and that is the disposable razor business. Okay, so if I was looking at that 10 years ago, I would have said, wow, great business, very profitable, no room for me because Gillette has the whole market wrapped up. They have the entire market wrapped up and they're making a killing because you, you buy an eight pack and it's $16 or whatever it is of these disposable razors, they are making a killing. You know, I wish somebody could get in on this, but it's obviously uh, too competitive and they're the king fish out there. Well, what happened? You know, fast forward, and now you look at it, you got the Dollar Shave Club, you got Harry's, you got, and, and there's there's others I'm sorry I can't think of, but there has been two or three significant players who have jumped into the industry, and they act like they belong, you know, and, and some of them you'll read their story about it, and it's like, yeah, they started in the basement or what, yeah, you know, but they jumped right in against a, a huge competitor named Gillette, and I tell you, it's gotten Gillette's attention. I know it has because I've seen Gillette now advertising lower prices. These other guys came in and with a different business model uh, have been able to take a big chunk out of that business. I'm, I'm not saying Gillette's not making any money still, believe me. I'm, I feel confident they're, they're doing fine. But these other guys have come in. So I would encourage you to look at that in the lawn care business, whether there's that one dominant business in your area or possibly the combination of a lot of small businesses that make you feel threatened. You're like, I don't know if there's room for me. Well, be encouraged because even in industries where there seems to be a super dominant player, people can come in and take a share of that business away or, you know what, in our industry, it's just a growing industry, so the truth is, there is business for all of us. They can jump in uh, and find their place in the industry as well. So that's what I'd encourage you to do in lawn care business. As always, guys, I love hearing from you in the comments. If you, you know, tell me your thoughts on this. Uh, maybe for you who have been in it a while and you have some encouragement to offer the new guys, or if you're a new guy and is this helpful to you? Is this uh, kind of, you know, way you were thinking about it? Guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I've got a lot of videos that I'm planning on doing this year, and you can check out these suggested videos as well. Thanks a lot.